Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and recently I purchased my very first Mac computer. I got a Mac Studio with the M2 Max chip. To watch why I decided to buy this computer and to see the unboxing video, check the links in the description below. In this episode, I will show you step by step how to install the universal audio software for the Apollo X6 audio interface. If you are interested on the purchase process and the unboxing of this Apollo X6, check out the links in the description below. In this video, I'll show you first the standard process of installation. And at the end, I'll show you what you can do if the security settings of your computer don't allow Universal Audio to be installed. In this video, I'll show you my screen recordings, except when I get to the part of what to do if you can't allow Universal Audio to be installed in your security settings. For this process, I use a portion of a video at the Universal Audio's website that you could go to and check it out. However, this video will save you time because you won't have to go looking around all over the place to try to find it. I'll start by showing you which is my Mac iOS system. Then I'll show you that my Apollo X6 is not recognized or host by the Mac Studio and then I'll go over the different installation steps. Finally, I'll do a test in Studio One though to make sure it works. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased the Mac Studio and the Apollo X6 with my own money. I got both on sale. The computer was $2,000 and the Apollo X6 was $2,000. $400. All right, let's get into it. All right, and let's first uh, check out the actual specs of this computer. This is the Mac Studio with the M2 Max chip, 32 gigabytes of memory, and then it has the Mac OS Sonoma 14.5. All right, so now that we know which system we're using, you can see that my Apple Mac is turned on right there. And now let's look at the back where we have our Thunderbolt cable connected to the computer. This cable goes straight to the Apollo X6 and it's right next to the blue, which is the Ethernet cable. All right, now let me show you my Apollo X6 here on my left. Let me move a little bit, here it is. This is the Apollo X6 audio interface, and right now it's turned off, but let me turn it on. And there it is, it is turned on right now, and you will see that it's gonna try to find a computer slash a host, and the host uh, is not gonna light right there because it couldn't find any, and that is because the software hasn't been installed yet. And the goal is going to be that at the end of this video, it's going to be light up because it's going to recognize our new computer. So let's go ahead and download the software from the Universal Audio website, like I'm doing right here. So I just go to downloads right there. And then you select the system that you have. In our case, it's this Apollo right there. So I'll click, of course. And basically, what we're going to install is the UAD. Um, or just UA app, so to speak, not for Windows. Let's do it for the Mac, which is the one we're talking about today. So click over there and it's downloaded on the top right. So there it is. Now open it up. Now drag the UA Connect into the Applications folder. There it is. Let me go down. You can see it on the right right there that it is here. So I'll just open it up right there. So double click and it's starting to connect. So we need to open it up. So I'll click on yes over here. Perfectly. And now log in with all your credentials and it's going to detect which plugins you have purchased, which is what's doing for me. Of course, I am uh, blurring right there my email address, but you can see 
that I already did the process of installing the different plugins so they are ready to be used. However, we can't use it until we install the actual software to manage our Apollo X6 um, audio interface. But I can see that all my purchase plugins are here, which is great. And if when you do this, they are not here, you have to download them. OK, so click over here. And now we go to the UAD software installer. And we're going to have to install it. And you can see down in the bottom, you have the UAD console, which we're going to have to download as well. So I'm going to do the console first, because it's going to go really, really quick. As you can see, this was in real time. But I'm not going to open it right now. First, I'm going to click on Install right here. And we're going to have to allow this um, package to be run here. And now we need to continue. And you have to read through all the information and then continue again. And the same right here, the license agreement, continue. If you wish to um, send a feedback, you leave it, click right there. Otherwise, just on click like I just did. And now we're ready to start the installation process. Of course, it's going to ask you for your Apple credentials. So I'm writing them right here. And then I'll just click on Install Software, which is in blue. So putting up my password right now and installing. So it's, everything is coming out. That is excellent. Perfectly. There it is. Running all the package scripts. That's wonderful. And come on. Let's keep moving now. OK. Well, yes, something that is extremely important is you need to do this particular action at the privacy and security area within the next 30 minutes. So I'll click OK over there. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And the installation was successful. So I'm going to restart, and I'll be back in just a second. All right, and we are back from the reboot. Let's go to the system settings over here, and we have to go to the privacy and security settings. So there it is. Now let's go down, and I'm going to show you what you need to do. You can see it says system software from developer Universal Audio has been updated, so we need to allow it right there. And if you don't see this message, I'm going to show you later on how to make it to show up. But first, let's fill this out because we need to log in again to authorize these uh, settings. And it's asking again. So let's go ahead and put our password and then OK it. And I uh, need to restart again. So let me go ahead and do it. OK, I'm back from the restart. And you can see I have the UAD meter and control panel, which is the one that we need to connect first. So it says it's not connected yet. So I'm going to have to turn on right there my Apollo audio interface. And you will see how it's going to start looking for the computer. Oh, right there, the host is starting to blink because it's basically connecting with my Mac computer. And there it goes. It keeps uh, turning on and off. And it's going to be, there you go, light up. And you can see how it connects right here also on my screen. So let me bring it here. And it is successfully connected, as you can see. So now let's go ahead and let's do something. Let's make sure in Studio One that we can actually find it. So as you can see, the first time your Studio One is going to start um, checking for all the different plugins and it is recognizing them and so on. So now it's going to be ready. Here it is. Let me move this out or exit out. OK, so now we should be able to see the Apollo over here at the playback device. And here it is. And also as the recording device. So I'm just going to go down here and click OK. Now let me go ahead and create a new song session by clicking here on the plus sign and writing test at the name. That's enough. Let's go ahead and click OK now. There we go. 
and I'm going to press the letter T and write test over here just to add one track. And you can see it's on the left side right there. And my input is the left side, which is fantastic. And now let me activate right here. There we go. You can see that there's signal. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so it recorded without an issue. So that is fantastic. That proves that the Apollo Audio interface was installed correctly. So that's great. And you can also see that in the console, everything is working as it should. So that proves everything is uh, working well after our installation. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, what would you have done if under system settings and privacy and security, you wouldn't have found the message asking to allow Universal Audio to perform the changes and get installed here under the security item. Well, then what you do if you don't see that is you turn off your Mac computer and then you go to the back of the computer when it's off and press the power button for a couple of seconds until you see this screen over here. So you go where it says, options and continue. You're going to see a menu like that, but you don't click anything there. You go to the top where it says utilities. That's the top left. And then start up security utility. You click there and then you go to the center right security policy and from full security you bring it down to reduce security and you click on the first one, which is the allow user management of uh, extensions, etc., as it is here, and just click OK. And that should um, allow you and Universal Audio to run everything. Of course, you have to restart, and then um, everything will be nicely set up for you. All right, and the Universal Audio software was installed properly. The Apollo X6 worked well with my Mac Studio and the Apollo Audio interface integrated smoothly to Studio One though. So that's all for this episode. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.